What is going on guys? Do you guys notice anything different about the vehicle? Not yet? Well, today we are going to be installing wind deflectors on this 2019 XC60. forgot about it. Let me just do a quick unboxing. I got this off of eBay. So it came from uh, it came from Asia actually. It came from Hong Kong. So you got four pieces right here. Front right, front left. I already installed this one. And there should be another one. And I think that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the driver's side first and then uh, Oh, and that should be some instructions. I should have probably read up on this first, but uh, it comes with um, insulation in full color. And basically, this is the same thing that I did before. Basically, clean everything, pull out the 3M tape, and stick it on. Here is everything that it came with, and that's about it. Right, guys so here it is give you guys a walk around now is it a discreet design it looks pretty discreet like you can't really tell especially with the chrome and how it matches with the brush aluminum during direct sunlight but when it's not direct sunlight you could definitely tell here's a brush aluminum mirror cap prior to the 2020 you can find these on all the R designs but the brush aluminum here or satin chrome stops here and continues with kind of like a straight up chrome for the aftermarket wind deflectors all right but i really do like how excuse the wind how flush and discreet this thing looks there's not much more i could say about wind deflectors in terms of like the install is good basically you just line up these two parts right here there's two notches above here that you have to line up and kind of sit against and then from there it makes the install very easy Basically, you just kind of peel off the 3M backing, and then it's pretty secure. It's not moving or whatnot. Uh, it's an, a thin piece of wood right here. You see, like, kind of like quality control right here. But um, I would be pretty confident that it will stick on. Why did I choose this system versus the in channel ones? Well, in channel ones kind of pick up like sand over time, grit, right? Versus the one that are stuck 
on, on the outside. It doesn't really do anything to your windows and whatnot. And here it is. Now let's take a look from the inside, right? Here it is. Tinted wise, the front windows are not tinted. The back windows are tinted. So here you see the difference. And there are plenty of benefits to wind deflectors or rain guards. First of all, it's gonna go ahead and get you fresh air in the cabin during a uh, rainy season. Also, it's gonna go ahead and get you a cooler cabin when you're parked in the hot sun. This combined with the uh, sunshade and open moon roof and everything, it's gonna give you a nice comfortable temperature or well, a bearable temperature until you go ahead and cool up your car during the yes. summer. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the other side where there's less reflection. But the reason why I chose the stick-ons versus the in-channel ones was because I like I like how flush it is. So this um, take a look at the Golf R version. These are in-channel ones, OEM from Volkswagen. It sticks out a little bit more, so it creates a despite the wind deflector name, right? It creates more wind noise for the car, in my opinion. So these are pretty thin, it sits against the body, and it looks pretty uh, aerodynamic, all right? And I like how nicely tinted it is. So it's, uh, it's perfectly tinted to match with the gloss black on the B-pillar portion of the door edges right here, all right? And then from here, um, I mean, I don't really don't see a difference. I mean, I see a difference, but you, unless you're looking for it, uh, unless you're really nitpicky, I think uh, the chrome, the, the mismatch in chrome will work. It will, I think. So overall, here it is. It's always pretty simple. Uh, one thing about it is it, it wasn't as flush as I wanted it to be, so the OEM portion right here stuck out. But install, again, was pretty simple. You have like two notches above here that you have to go ahead and line up, like right above here, and another one right here. And everything is simple. And here's a look between the non-tinted factory glass and the tinted aftermarket deflectors. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to lower. Well, let me turn on the car. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just try to lower the window and give you guys a look of the maximum distance that this could lower before rain comes in. So here it is. Maybe with in-channel systems, you might get a quarter inch lower, but this is a great system to go ahead and have some fresh air during a rainy day. Um, definitely have some, uh, have some air, the hot, heated air dissipate from the in-cabin, especially with this in conjunction with maybe some sunshades and opening or tilting your um, sunroof. It's gonna go ahead and keep your, your in-cabin a lot more cooler. So overall, that's about it. I don't know what else to talk about in terms of uh, reviewing the product, you know. But I think uh, these things are, uh, in a way, if you if you don't, if, you know, if you if you like the look, then definitely recommend it. If you don't like the look, I mean, it is still functional. All right. Now on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a day. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.